Hello there, and welcome to another, uh, op attack, I guess, of devastating awesomeness. Maybe not. I'm, I'm not even sure. To be honest, this footage was shot so long ago. Uh, first of all, it's Curtain Call, which I don't think we've seen in a year. Uh, well, probably not even a year, but, like, it's been a long, long time. Um, that, like, we've, we've been doing DE and DC, and I go, eh, me in there a little, uh, every once in a while, but, um, yes, it, so we're, we're, we're doing a flashback, playback to the old Jack, that's whack, I don't know, back, back, <laughs> so, uh, I had to rhyme it with something, I guess, attack number one, Obviously, we're going after the, uh, whatever, what, what, what base is this? Boom Town? The Town of Booms? As you can see, the first attack cleared out the rocket launchers and opened up that left-hand side. And then, after that, is... <sighs> yours truly. Rolling in with a whole buttload of Scorchers, I clearly only take the most, um strategically advanced attacks so i had to do this one aka i just was like one of the few people who had a troop health and they were like we need someone with troop health to run in and run scorchers along the back of boomtown to break its back like a so with my knee uh and and i was the first person to like go like mm -hmm. i've got a troop damage or troop health statue let me go uh, so, and honestly, I, I feel like it was a relatively successful attack. Um, now, we, we have refined this process a little bit uh, as we've kind of upped our game. So, I, I'm looking forward to getting to some of the DC, or well, even DE, I guess, uh, hits to, to really start showing off the awesomeness of the gents um, in, in the doing of the things. <laughs> also, uh, it's kind of funny because, you know, with it being as old an attack as this is, um, Craze hasn't been in the task force for like a million years, but it's kind of cool to see the name pop up and be like, right, a million years ago, Craze, right, slaying mom? But I love my mommy. Alright, so... I don't even remember slaying mom. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, attack number... Four on the Boomtown. Uh, running up into the back. Obviously, slaying mom is gonna gather some GBE in the corner and then work his or her way down. Is it a mom who slays or... Is it a guy who slays moms? Anyway, um, obviously doing doing some damage, uh, taking out the last of the shields and clearing things up, and trying to, I guess, kind of you know, uh, open open the way up for our last attack, which I think is, if I do my counts right, five or six. I wasn't counting. It's Cobb. That's right, the old corn. Wow, Cobb I haven't seen in like a hundred years. Too. Holy crow. Okay. Um, great guy, Cobb. Just saying. So, uh, finally, Cobb rolls right into the safe spot, throws down a few shocks and some critters, and finishes off the core to take down our first. Then we're going to move on to duality. Du duality, I think is how you say it, yeah. With Teeth, which is the baby account of our fearless leader. Uh, as you can see, loading left-hand side because of all of those rocket launchers over on the right-hand side. And he parks himself right up near the rocket launchers. Clearly his goal for this attack is to clear up some of the ridiculous um, rocket launcher shocks that would be required to go after this hit and then he brings out the big account to what i can only assume 
is finish off this core because uh, like I said it it's it's been like a million years I honestly can't even remember what happened or who's doing what or why um, but it looks like I was pretty accurate in my guess and Tails takes down the core in quick order uh, and then we move on to TechCrunch you know what actually I was gonna say I, it's been a million years since we've even seen a TechCrunch but I'm pretty sure we had a TechCrunch earlier this week and it was kind of similar to this where there were a bunch of rocket launchers in really awkward places making the hit incredibly difficult um, kind of similar to this one I guess and it, it's just funny that now, you know, going through and doing this, ta-da, incredibly awkward tech crunch. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, the good news is, over on the left-hand side, once you clear up the corner like that, like, honestly, every tech crunch, every tech crunch, it comes down to just going up into that corner. I think maybe once or twice there's been a tech crunch where there's a bunch of rockets over, uh, like, where those uh, cannons are on the right-hand side of the core. Uh, I guess you could call that three o'clock. Well, really, like one to three o'clock. And normally, uh, those are not rockets. And when there's rockets there, things get a little hectic, and you might have to get fancy and crazy with your attacks and whatnot. But in the grand scheme of things, coming up into this corner, you're going to take down 90% of the tech crunches because you're just out of range of those rocket launchers. And once you clear the corner out, there's not a whole lot that will normally be able to shoot you down. Um, even if there are ridiculously huge shields on that base, kind of like this, they eventually go down. And you can watch the pretty blowings up of the base in Fast Forward. <laughs> Moving on. <clears throat> That's right. The Humble. And, oh man, Humble, Humble gets nasty. Uh, we're still working with Humble. Now, this strategy, I'm pretty sure because it was old enough, um, we're probably rocking the uh, clear out the bottom right-hand corner and then just burn down the, the core with the shields and all, um, which we've, we've actually moved away from. We've moved towards taking out the shield generators and doing a core rush at the end to, to clear out that core and finish things off. Uh, but we'll, we'll have to see how this unfolds, I guess, down in the bottom right-hand corner. I think it's going to be a clear, but who knows, uh, especially because that takes so many hits. Uh, one of the reasons that we actually switched over was because by clearing that bottom right hand corner you're guaranteed to sink at least oh my goodness sorry time out time out whoa 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 creature keen with his old name that is how incredibly old kk has changed his name uh possibly due to my videos and calling him crispy cream uh, I don't want to take credit for it, and if that is the case, I actually feel kind of bad because he's an awesome guy and does even more insanely awesome hits, uh, which we might actually be privy to as we speak because he just took out a whole bunch of rockets. Uh, he was just making it nice and easy for the next guy. Uh, but it, it, it's kind of crazy to see the creature keem uh, instead of just Creech, which is what he shortened it down to, and it's because he is the Creech, or the Teach, uh, you know, basically teaching the rest of the task force how to boom like a boss. So, <laughs> alright, uh, interesting, wow, uh, alright, Els, uh, Elsinore, uh, Elsinore, Hopefully I'm saying it right, I don't know, he's not in the task force anymore. Um, but rocking some team head, which we definitely don't really see anymore. Uh, it's crazy. Um, and, and doing a pretty decent job. He's, he's clearing through this bottom corner fairly well until he got near that shock blaster and then just got face melted. 
Uh, I guess that's why we don't use tanks anymore. Because once you're up at this level... Oh, wow. And with... Alright. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> oh, oh. On to Jay. Jay's attack probably going to be pretty boss-ish. Uh, boss-ish. Because, well, Jay's a boss. And as you can see, he is gathering up some energy because as people have been going through and clearing things up, uh, they've been hurting little quads of, of defenses behind the core that eventually need to go. And uh, as you can see, he's kind of polished off the last of those and is now pushing his troops in to clear up all of the, the remaining mess in the... Uh, well, I, I don't know, 6 o'clock of the core. Um, you know, screen, screen, top of the screen is 12. I don't want to confuse anyone who <laughs> has been misguided into using the beach as 6. The bottom of the screen is 6, obviously. So, uh, Micro, back when he actually was a Micro... Rolling in to finish up the humble clear, uh, probably taking a bit of a crack at frying oh, the mines. Oh, dying. And then pulling out the KSS, who's a uh, different, you know, different account, but same person playing kind of a thing. Uh, obviously, pulling out the KSS, KSS. Oh, geez, I can't even talk. KSS, because he's kicked some SS. Ooh, and does as much damage to the core as possible. Bringing on G... See, like, and, and this is uh, why I really hope to bring you guys some, uh, some DC uh, Humble Pies. Because, obviously, like, you can see the attacks that we are pouring into this Humble by trying to clear out the bottom corner. And it's just like one attack after another, after another, after another, after another. Um, very inefficient. Obviously, horrible things are going on. And when you're when you're doing DC, you just you don't have the spare attacks to do that. It's just it's not an option. Uh, so we've definitely improved. I'd love to, uh, in a short period of time when we get around to doing some DC vids, um, I'd love to show you guys how the humble strat has changed so incredibly. Now, obviously for Mac, uh, the first hit is RF and he's going up the right hand side generating energy and doing a little extra damage to the core. What he's doing with all that energy is clearing out all the mines, trying to remove some of the shocks, uh, taking out, there were two defenses sitting at, uh, we'll call it like seven o'clock of the core, uh, clearing that out so there's more room for the Zookas to kind of shuffle their way into. And then RF comes in with another RF account and obviously starts walking his ladies right into that sweet spot um kind of spread a little low those those ladies got shocked with the machine gun and everything but that's okay because uh you are carnage you're carnage Another name I haven't seen in forever. Holy smokes. Uh, he's he's rolling in, throwing down some shocks on the various things that need shocking. And downs another core. Now we're going to move on to a Waterloo. Holy smokes. Actually, this is very similar to start to how we're still running Waterloo. Now, <clears throat> the difference is uh, we don't lose all of our troops to rocket launchers now. <clears throat> also, we don't spend the attacks trying to take down the rocket launchers and shock launchers on that corner. We go up there to group our troops and then keep strutting right on past. Um, again, I, I guess this is coming back to doing some slightly more advanced techniques with uh, DC and needing to be more efficient with the attacks that we do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, um, as, as you can see, we're clearing out, in this case, the top left-hand corner. And then using the energy to clear out any mines that might have built up. Or um, 
any any anything that really is going to make life difficult for the next person to go. After that's all done, we are going straight to the back of the core because uh, well, that's that's where you got to hit from. Uh, as you can see, there's some rocket launchers, and what you kind of want to do is oh, it looks like we're going to actually clear the rocket launchers. Oh my goodness! Wow, is this ever different? Uh, so you can see that Mez is going through and just clearing things up in the very back there. And the final hit is going to be from Trey, who is going to run all the way back into that safe spot and then take out the core from there. Um, holy smokes, is that ever different than the way we're doing it now. Uh, <laughs> wow. Crazy. All right. So, uh, like I called it, he's going up there and he's going to finish things off. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's been entertaining. And above all else, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.